Years ago, I saw a blurry picture on the internet of a long stone bridge, almost like Angel's Landing in Zion. However, most amazingly was the claim that at the end of this bridge sits an ancient ruin, completely protected from everything except the massive exposed cliffs on either side. I had no idea what this place was called, but I had an idea of where it might be. So I started looking on Google Earth, and I searched for hours and hours and hours. Nope, not this, not that either. No, 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 definitely not that. No, that's literally just Angel's Landing. Finally, I came across this long, thin, straight piece of stone. Cross-referenced it with the picture, and boom. I knew I had found it. I called my brother, who has a high-clearance truck, and we set out to hike into this thing. What we found points to incredibly sophisticated and intelligent people, but brings up questions regarding what these people were hiding from and the terrifying reality they must have lived in that forced them to make their homes in such an extreme place. Hello, and welcome to an episode of I Found a Weird Thing on Google Earth, so I'm going to check it out. This thing is probably one of the coolest Native American ruins I have ever seen. It's an amazing blend of archaeology and geology and really kind of shows how ingenious the Native Americans were when using their natural environment to uh, keep themselves safe. Number one priority today is just to make sure that we're being really respectful to this place so that many generations can enjoy these beautiful structures. So there it is. The Native Americans built their home at the end of this huge peninsula in the sky. And therefore, they could be defended from attacks in every single direction except over that one bridge. The scale of this thing is unbelievable. This route is actually way sketchier than I thought it was going to be. I can't believe this exists. Look at that huge drop off on either side of this natural land bridge. This is like a castle a moat, but the moat is just air. So it looks like this used to be an old wall that they built. And this wall essentially helped them funnel the only people coming and going. And it's just absolutely insane to think that we're walking in the path taken by Native Americans for potentially thousands of years. And I am really, really fortunate to be able to be here and experience this.
This one's got the best views of the entire valley. There's four rooms back to back to back built right into the same edge of the rock. And you can see how it was, that this was the perfect place to build. You really don't want to go inside these things. There's no reason to. And this ruin is so amazingly intact. I mean, it, it doesn't even look old. For hundreds of years, there might have been Native Americans sleeping right there, keeping a fire in the corner of the room to keep them warm during the cold days, which is evidenced by the black ceiling. This entire room couldn't be longer than nine feet long and six feet wide. This one's way, way smaller. And here's a pretty big one. This one goes pretty far back. I just can't believe how amazingly well built these walls are. They used logs and sticks to prop open the top of their windows, which are still remaining very well today. If you were living on this structure and you saw your enemies approaching, you would have tons of time to gather your weapons, your rocks, and they could probably stand right where I'm standing and attack the people crossing the bridge or at least have enough time to see them approaching and prepare. Whoever lived here, whether that be the Anasazi or the ancestral Pueblo and Native Americans had some absolutely terrifying opponents that made them want to build their homes up here and live basically in a fortress in the sky. I would love to find some petroglyphs, but I haven't had any luck yet. However, I'm very unobservant. Looks like this also used to be some sort of habitat. And here's another ruin. This one's much more collapsed. Wow. All the ruins are up there, so I bet on a beautiful day, they would all come out here, look at the sunrises and the sunsets, sing, dance, tell stories. All right, so now we are leaving the ruins and heading back over the bridge. And I couldn't even imagine what it'd be like lugging all your food and water back and forth across this thing. So it's hard to see, but the ruins are right on that ledge. And that's the big standing rock right there. I know that they were probably at war with other Native American tribes 
uh, and other families that would live in the surrounding canyons, but also a large portion of it could also be they were defending themselves from large predators. Oh yeah, so check it out. This is pretty clearly old wall that used to stand right here. It's definitely fallen down, but it's more defensible structures that they created here. There's some super paranoid people that lived here. All right, so I'm hanging back with Tui because dogs don't belong in archeological sites. And that is Judson, my brother, crawling around the corner. <laughs> not post this. And Judson does not like slanted surfaces or slidey surfaces. It's his only weakness in life. So, <laughs> it's just that one section. All right, we are walking out from the maximum security Native American ruin. That place is so cool. And I am really grateful we got to check that out. Now we got a couple miles back in the snow. And uh, yeah, just wanted to say thanks for watching my video. I appreciate each and every single person who clicks on my videos when they open up their YouTube. It really means a lot to me. If you haven't already, make sure to subscribe to my channel because we got, we got a lot more stuff like this coming your way. And I hope you have a great rest of your day. This is Nolan Fisher, AKA the POV channel. If you like this video, make sure to let me know. You. Craziness. <laughs> 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 <laughs>